Good morning. Good morning. I have been gone. Yes, yes. I'm back. Mm. For I am not a body. I am a spirit. Yes, I am. I am Rosie J. Doing it God's way each and every day. Good God morning. I've been gone. Oof. Got some new devices added to my body. It actually went chaotic for a minute. So I had to sit myself down just for a minute. I had to sit myself down just for a minute. Good morning, Tana. Yeah, I've been under the weather, but I refuse to be put down. <laughs> yes, it's good to be back. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, I am happy, joyous, and free. So, you know, they I experience is, issues with uh, diabetes. Just to remind myself that I have a body. It wants to do it. And sometimes it wants to act up. So the doctors put me on this new device that's called an insulin pump, which is supposed to assist me in administering insulin to my body and of course when they first put it on you have to tweak things to get them right so last week it was not tweaked and on friday i actually got it tweaked and i feel better so that means that i can move around with energy and without feeling like i'm at the last end of my road thank you thank you thank you god so we are back father god and we are grateful Mm. We choose health, we choose love, we choose forgiveness, we choose to call it all joy, Father. We choose to rest when the body needs to rest. We choose to get active and move, motivated and move around and do some things all in your name, Father. We choose to be joyous and happy in spite of how the world may show up. We choose, Father, to see you in everything and everyone, for that's the only way life is gloriously established and shown. For thoughts in mind produced in kind, so we keep the joy in our mind. We keep the healing in our mind. We know that with all, for all things, there is a situation perhaps, but there is also a solution. And all we have to do is ask and say yes. So we say yes to health. We say yes to wealth. We say yes to our duty here, our mission here. We say yes to prove that you do exist by acting and being you. We know where our source comes from, where our power comes from, where our joy comes from. We know that we are living in an illusion that ego wants to tell us is real, but however, we know the truth. And the truth is, there is no one or nothing greater than you. And you can control everything. For you don't need our help. All you need is our permission. So we say yes to the doors that open, even when they don't show up like we want them to, even if they don't look like we want them to. We know that you guide us in the right direction, and we are grateful for that. We are also grateful for the time that we have to rest this body and rejuvenate. So we get up and we do it again. Yes. So we are here today to send this blessing of understanding to all and everyone who seeks you, Father. For you have the solution and we open our mind, our body, our spirit, and our soul to you, Father. I say, I say, lift depression, all angst and anxieties from everyone all over the world, Lord. Let's walk with you today. I say, amen. And so So I am back and I am grateful for it. Um, and we're going to pick up where we left off 
we have been talking about a lot of things about seeing truth, getting rid of illusion. And uh, today's lesson, of course, we are in our, our review, lesson two, 205. And lesson 205 is very simple, but we can make it complicated if we so desire. I am not a body, I am free, for I am still as God created me. Lesson 185 is our review lesson today, and that is I want the peace of God. So the prayer is, the peace of God is everything I want. The peace of God is my goal the aim of all my living here, the end I seek, my purpose, my function, my life, while I abide where I am not at home. How many of you feel like strangers in this world, alien to those things? That's because you are. That's because your spirit does not really want to be here per se, but we come here for growth in consciousness. And sometimes it's a difficult task. Hey, Billy, what's up? Thank you for your prayer this morning. So we say to um, our consciousness that even though we're not alien to this place, we have to learn how to maneuver through it. So we want and desire the peace of God in all situations living our life and doing our thing, we want peace. And so when we want peace, we desire peace and we let go of all things that don't fit in that space. We don't get all up in our heads asking the question of why did that happen? How dare they? Um, if they hadn't have done this, I wouldn't have done that. We don't get into that. We want to maintain peace here, peace that comes from our heart, peace that comes from the crazy day-to-day -day activities of all the things that we have to do and all the responsibilities that we have for people, for ourselves, for everyone else. But we have to stay focused on us. You know, I try not to take other people's inventory, meaning that I don't want to pinpoint what I find wrong with them. That's not my place. That's called judgment. I don't want to do that, right? I don't want to do that because I don't want to be judged. You know, they say if you want understanding, you have to understand. And I've learned to do that. And I can say thanks to A Course in Miracles, right? How many of you have actually been doing these lessons, even if you didn't understand them? Even if you didn't understand them, and I'm going to say that again, even when I didn't understand it, I still did them. I still listened to them. I still go for it, no matter what. Because a lot of times, <coughs> excuse me, our intellect or our ego wants to get in the way and start analyzing just instead of just being. I am being peace in God with God, for God, being, the beingness. We are human beings, but we forget to be, right? So let's go on with the lesson. What do you think about that? Do you ever forget to be and want to analyze everything and everybody? That's what we do as humans until we learn that we are a spirit. We just limit, we just have a limited time in this body right now. So we try to do the best that we can. So let's go on with the lesson. And what does the lesson say? And we can talk about it as we go along. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the chat. Um, please remember to uh, join our Facebook group. Uh, I am Affirmations um, group because we will be coming from there come 2000, listen, 2020. So let's begin. I want the peace of God. That's our thought. No matter what shows up, just keep saying to yourself, I want the peace of God. 
To say these words is nothing, but to mean these words is everything. Do you feel it in your heart? When you mean it, it resonates with you. I want the peace of God. If you could but mean them for just an instant, there would be no further sorrow possible for you in any form in any place or time, no matter where you are, if you really truly mean, I want the peace of God. I desire the peace of God. Do you really mean that? Because if you mean that, then things will change. Heaven would be completely given back to full awareness the memory of God entirely restored. That's what we try to get to. Bring heaven on earth. The resurrection of all creation fully recognized. That's why we're here. To bring heaven on earth. To eradicate all the things that people live in thinking that this is hell. Like someone, I heard someone say one time that Life is hell and then you die. No, it's not supposed to be that way. And we can choose it because I want the peace of God. No one can mean these words and not be healed. He cannot play with dreams nor think he is himself a dream. I'm not a dream. I'm real here. My spirit is here to create heaven on earth. He cannot make a hell and think it real. I can't. He wants the peace of God and it is given to him. It will be. For that is all he wants. And that is all he will receive. Remember, thoughts in mind producing kind. If you think you're in hell, guess what? The world is going to show you that it is hell. If you think you're in heaven, the world will show you that you're in heaven. If you think that you have peace and love and joy, that's what the world will show up. But if you constantly pick on these dreams and illusions that everyone wants to tell you, that too can be proven. You're right at both levels, wherever you are. But I, personally, I want the peace of God. So I know if I desire that, I cannot, I cannot be healed. I, you know, healing is inevitable when I want the peace of God. He cannot play with dreams nor think he is a dream himself. He cannot make the hell and think it real. He wants the peace of God and it is given to him for at, that is all he wants. That's all I want. That's all you really want. And that is all you will receive. I want the peace of God. Many have said these words, but few indeed have meant them, really. Meant them, no matter what. You have but to look upon the world you see around you. You to be sure how very few there are. Because if you look around the world, you see people in pain, and anger, disgust, poverty, sadness, depression. Because they haven't chosen the peace of God. Choose the peace of God. I want the peace of God. People say that, but they really don't mean it. The evidence is tangible. But what do you choose? The world would be completely changed if you chose this from your heart. Should any two agree, these words express the only one thing that they want. I want the peace of God. Two minds with one intent become so strong that what they will become 
the, that they will become the will of God because God wills us to be peaceful. God wills us to be happy. God wills us to be abundant. God wills us to be loved. For minds can only join in truth. There is no debate. There should be no banter back and forth. I choose the peace. I choose peace, the God, peace. In dreams, no two can share the same intent. I call the dreams. To each, the hero of the dream is different. The outcome wanted is not the same for both. Loser and gainers merely shift about in changing patterns as the ratio of gain to loss and loss to gain takes no different, takes on a different aspect for everyone and another form. Yet compromise alone, a dream can bring. Sometimes it takes the form of union, but only the form of, not the reality of. The meaning must escape the dream. For compromising is the goal of a dream. Minds cannot unite in dreams. They merely bargain. And what bargain can give them the peace of God? What bargain could do that? Oh, if I do this, then you'll do that. If I do this, if you give me this, then, you know, I'll give you something else. There is no need to bargain. There's more peace of God to go around for everyone. Illusions come to take the, his place of God. Those dreams, those illusions of reality. Those things that the world says, this is the truth because that's what we're, what we think about. I choose to think and be about the peace of God. And what he means is loss to sleeping minds. Open up. Become aware. To mean you want the peace of God is to renounce all dreams. For no one means these words who wants illusion and who therefore seeks the, me the means by which these illusions come. Mm. He has looked on them and found them wanting, always wanting. And now he seeks to go beyond them, recognizing that another dream would offer nothing more than all the others. Dreams are one to him. And he has learned they're only, the, they're only different is in form. For one will bring the same despair and misery as the rest. I want the peace of God. The mind, which means that all it wants is peace, must join with another mind. Do you want the peace of God? I do. Let's join together in this reality. I want the peace of God. For that is how peace is obtained. And when the wish for peace is genuine, the means for finding it is given in a form, each mind that seeks from its honesty can understand. Your peace might come with you, with your family, your loved ones, on your job. Your peace might come with your mate, your, your children, your grandchildren. I want the peace of God. But if he asks without sincerity, sincerity, there is no form in which the lesson will meet with acceptance and be truly learned. Open your mind. Open your heart. I want the peace of God. 
Let us today devote our practicing to recognizing that we really mean the words we say. I want the peace of God. We want the peace of God. This is no idle wish. These words do not request another dream to be given us. They do not ask for compromise nor try to make another bargain with the hope that there will there may be yet one can be successful. And the others have failed. I want the peace of God. Sincerely. To mean these words acknowledges illusions are in vain, requesting the eternal in the place of shifting dreams, which seem to change in what they offer, but are really meaningless. I want the peace of God. Today, devote your practice periods to carefully searching your mind to find the means you cherish still. We want what, what do you ask for in your heart? What is it that you're asking for? Forget these words. You use to make your request. Just be that. I want the peace of God. Feel it resonating in your heart in true sincerity. Consider but what you believe will comfort you and bring you happiness. But be you not dismayed by lingering, lingering illusions. For their form is not what matters now. Let not some dreams be your be more acceptable, reserving shame and secrecy from others. They are one. And being one, one question should be asked of all of them. Is this what I would have it in the place of heaven and the peace of God when anxieties and angst and illusional thoughts come to your mind. Ask yourself, is this what I would have in place of the peace of God? That's a simple question to ask yourself. That's a simple question. Hey, that's a very simple question. I know, Janelle, I know we are, and we have to remember to ask God, ask God for what we desire. Ask God, and then ask ourselves, do we want to believe that? Or do we want to believe that God gives us the peace that we desire in all situations. It could be the worst thing that could happen to you. Or maybe you might think, I remember in my own growth, um, the day I was attacked by the man I thought was going to be my husband, and I left that house with nothing on my back. And in that whole thing, I kept saying, there's got to be a better way. I kept saying, I didn't have a dime in my pocket. And my house was taken, even though my more, more, my, I lived there and I, I paid the bills and everything was in my name. But my safety was questionable. And God worked it out. It didn't happen instantaneously, but I kept moving forward. It didn't, the pain didn't go away but I kept moving forward. I received the peace of God. I received a place that I live in now that I didn't have to put down anything. I was directed to do certain things that I had never done before in my life because I had never been really homeless. I remember the day you know, 
those months of not having funds to do and God took care of me. You know, I remember those issues and angst and anxieties that I had, but I kept moving forward. For some reason, in my heart, I knew there was a better way. And that's the way we have to push through. For every situation, there is always a solution. And we have to see it and move in it. So I seek the I seek the peace of God in everything. And I ask myself, is this whatever situation I'm going through, is this really what I would have instead of having heaven on earth? the peace of God. And most of the time the answer to, for me is no, I don't want this. I'd rather have the peace of God. I'd rather put my faith in a being that I don't see, feel, touch, or judge, but I see the evidence of his being powerful. And this is a choice that we make. I choose the peace of God. Be not deceived that it is any other way. I must choose this instead of angst and anxiety, instead of homelessness, instead of staying sick and being judgmental and unforgiving. I choose the peace of God and the peace of God is exactly that. It can be a physical peace or I can grab onto God's word. God's love, no matter what. No compromise is possible in this. It has to be a choice. You choose God's peace or you have asked for dreams. And dreams will come as you request them. Mm. Yet, will God's peace come just as certainly? Yes, it will. And to remind, remain with you forever? Yes, it will. But you have to keep claiming it. I claim the peace of God. No matter what, no matter how many people act out, no matter how many judgments or what people might say about me or do about me or feel about me. It makes, that makes no difference. I move out of that and I choose the peace of God. And dreams will come as you request them. What dream are you requesting? Yet will God's peace come for sure? Yes, it will. And you'll shift into a whole nother paradigm, a whole nother consciousness. And then when you shift into that consciousness, the world will show up like that. You'll stop seeing things that no longer, that, that, that used to hurt you. It's, it's like your whole reality changes. I no longer see, um, and I got to be honest, I know in my own reality or in the world that there are still people addicted to drugs. I know that we live in a society that everybody wants to hide from, but I swear for goodness, I don't see it now. I don't see um, people hanging out on corners like I used to. I don't see folks exchanging money for drugs or any of that anymore. I I don't know. I don't even see people hanging out on the street selling cigarettes. It, my whole reality has changed. The things that my mind picks up on, it's a rare occasion where I see folks fighting or fussing or any of that. I choose to live in heaven in peace. It's a choice. You want the peace of God. And so do all who seem to seek for dreams. Everybody who lives in that angst and anxiety, they want peace. They just can't find their way out. It's like 
boxing in a space or a box, a bag over them, and they can't get out. And all they have to say in their heart of hearts is, I want the peace of God. I desire something different. I desire heaven on earth. We have to make a choice in order for it to show up in our lives. We have to sincerely feel that way. I want relief from this place that's hell to me. Will things show up? Sure they will. But every time they don't show up, and I want to say, I want the peace of God. I, will, I no longer want this. I choose the peace of God. For thus, you reach to what they really want, what you really want. And you join your own intent with what they seek to above all things. Together, we can get there. Perhaps unknown to them. Some people don't even realize that they want peace. They like chaos, but then they don't like it, right? You have those people that just love to debate, love to argue, love to get, damn, but they really don't want it. When they get into their quiet little space by themselves, they're not happy. And all they have to do is, I choose the peace of God instead of this, whatever this is. See, because when you don't do that, there are some things that show up. You have been weak at times, uncertain in your purpose, and unsure of what you want, where to look for it, and where to turn for help in the attempt. Help has been given you. And would you not avail yourself of it by sharing it? I want the peace of God. I desire the peace of God for you. I do this because I want you to have the peace of God. And it's so easy just by saying those words. I want the peace of God instead of this and whatever this is. I want the peace of God. No one who truly seeks the peace of God can fail to find it. For he merely asks what he deceived himself no longer by denying to himself what God's will is. Who can remain unsatisfied? Who asks for what he already has? Because we have it. Everything we need, we already have. We have the peace of God. We have to just bring it out. Who could be unanswered who requests an answer for such which he is already given? The peace of God is already yours. It's already mine. We just have to remind ourselves, I want the peace of God. For you, <laughs> for you was peace created given you by the creator and established as his own eternal gift. How could you fail when you but ask for what he wills for you? How could you, how could your request be limited to you alone? As I am, so are you. No gift of God can be unshared. It is this attribute that sets the gifts of God apart from every dream that ever seemed to take place and take the place of truth. No one can lose or anyone, everyone must gain whatever any gift of God has been requested. We request the peace of God and received by anyone. God gives but to unite, not separate. God unites us. Man separates us. 
There is no separation in heaven. And we're here to bring heaven on earth. And just by saying, I want the peace of God is our first step there. Our step of many steps there to feel it in our hearts, not just in our minds. And when it is as meaningless to you, you can be sure you share one will with him and with you. He is always there. And you will also always know you share one will with all your brothers. I want the peace of God. I know you do too. Because we're all the same. It is my intention to share this with you. So that you may walk in heaven. On this earth. While you're here. In true love and forgiveness and accepting non-judgment, allowing people to grow and expand and be while keeping yourself focused with the mind of God. I want peace to this. It is this one intent we seek today. Uniting our desires with the needs of every heart. We call of every mind and the call of every mind. The hope that lies beyond despair. The love attack attract would be the love attack would be hidden. But we open it up. And the brotherhood that hates has sought to serve but which still remains as God created it, in love, in peace, in happiness. And we will help this beside each other today as we request the peace of God be given to us. I want the peace of God, yes. I desire the peace of God. It's the only thing that I desire. Yes, yes. I am grateful that I am back. Yes, I am back. So I will see you tomorrow morning or whenever I decide to show up on Facebook. Remember to go to the my YouTube channel and subscribe. YouTube wouldn't come up today for some reason. I move it forward, and that's it, and that's all. Um, remember to to join our Facebook group. And the links are in the uh, description. Have a good God day. I love you, and there is nothing that could ever change that. Not a thing. Not a thing. I want the peace of God. I shame. Amen. And so it is. Namaste. I see the God in you. Have a great, great 